chemical properties of metals. All elements discovered by man have been systematically organized into a tabular format called the periodic table. Most of these elements are metals. The names of some common metals are highlighted. Click on the metals familiar to you. We have seen few, very few metals in their original form. Why? Well, the simple reason is that most of these metals do not exist in their original or native forms as such. They are highly reactive and combine with other elements to get disguised. How do these metals react? Let us learn about this. What are the features that make metals highly reactive? Metals are all electropositive in nature. This means that metal atoms tend to lose electrons and become positively charged. By giving away electrons, metals act as powerful reducing agents and undergo chemical reactions in their electropositive state. Metals have a valency range from 1 to 3. What does this mean? This means that metals can lose 1, 2 or 3 electrons from their valence shells. Almost all metals are solids at room temperature and can easily react with gases and liquids. Gases such as oxygen, hydrogen and chlorine and liquids like water, acid and salt solutions react without difficulty with most metals. Let us first examine the reactivity of metals with gases. What happens when the shining surfaces of metals like sodium and calcium are exposed to air? After some time, one can see a white coat of oxide forming. Metals react with oxygen in the air to form an oxide. Sodium forms sodium oxide and calcium forms calcium oxide. When these oxides are added to water, they dissolve to form their hydroxides. Therefore, such oxides are classified as basic in nature. Colorless phenolphthalein turns pink in hydroxide solutions. This is a test for the basic nature of hydroxides. Similarly, hydrogen gas reacts with metals to form hydrides and chlorine gas reacts with metals to form chlorides. Now let us study the reactivity of metals with liquids. The reactivity of water varies with the nature of metals. 
very reactive metals like sodium, potassium and calcium easily react with cold water to form their hydroxides and liberate hydrogen gas. Less reactive metals like magnesium and zinc react with water only when it is heated to a boil. They form their oxides and liberate hydrogen gas. However, lesser reactive metals like iron and nickel will only react with more heat when water turns to steam. If iron reacts with steam, it forms iron oxide and hydrogen. Metals that react with water can also react with dilute acids. For example, Acids like hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid react with metals to form their corresponding chloride and sulfate salts. Can you label the liberated gas? A more reactive metal easily displaces a less reactive metal from its salt solution to occupy that place. Zinc metal is more reactive than copper. So when zinc is placed in copper sulfate solution, it displaces the copper in the solution to form zinc sulfate and the copper metal is set free. Now, try and complete this equation.